Hey YouTube, Alex here, Inch95's channel, bringing you guys kind of a late video. This is going to be a, um, a deck of the month for January 2011. I'm kind of late with it, but I'm just going to hop straight into it. It is, I haven't done a video in quite a while, but I have a couple updates, so go on my channel, check that out. So here's the deck. It's a deck I've been working on for a while. It's currently not my main deck, actually. So it's pretty good, though, actually. It's really fun. It's pretty competitive. So it can compete, I'm trying to work on it and make it a little bit more competitive, but I think you guys should try it out. Um, it is kind of a pricey deck, but anyway, you'll see it. For the most part, it's pretty standard. It's actually an absolute zero variant. So uh, yeah, here we go. One sec, let me just separate this into piles. Uh, it's kind of an absolute zero turbo variant. Um, most of the stuff's pretty standard. Dark Armed, Gores, One Caius. Um, these guys are kind of like boss monsters, obviously. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining Stratos. Two Destiny Hero Malicious. Just one Diamond, dude. You don't need any more. One uh, Destiny Hero... Uh, what's his name? Doom Lord. One Fearmonger. Those are kind of your Destiny Heroes as far as your engine for that. And then you run one Mystic Tomato, one Sangan. For your tuners, you run one Plague Spreader. The obvious Triple Diva. And surprisingly, one uh, Spine Gilman. I really don't like Reese as, any Reese as much anymore because you're really only running one Caius. And what are you going to do? Just sit there with a Reese and... Mermaid Archer is garbage, and I'd rather have a card that, even in my hand, like, it's not really good, but I'd rather be able to go aggressive with it, and I can go instant, uh, Cataster with it, so that's why I like it. And lastly, I run one Effect Failure. One Effect Failure is just a little hot tech, and it's also good with a couple other things. You can make Armory Arm with Spine Gilman, or Sangan. You can pretty much make anything. It allows you to go into those monsters you normally wouldn't be able to go. Like, let's say you have a, um, I really can't give you an example right off the top of my head, but... Just like it's really good because like it's really unexpected, and you could try two, but one, two is a little pu is pushing it. And honestly, in the main deck, for the spells, we run one future fusion. This is like your pride, the most important spell card in your deck, and it starts pretty much everything off. Um, to get that, we run your engine. Pretty much all your spells are to draw cards or get into those cards. One Rota, three dualities, uh, two Sarcos, one Destiny draw, one Allure of Darkness. These cards right here, um, you need them. You're, for duality, you're not going to be synchroing every freaking turn or special summoning. Rota gets your Stratos as fast as possible. The Sarkos help you get into Future Fusion. And you want to get Future Fusion turn one. Like That's the main thing in this deck. Um, the rest of the spells, I chose to only run two Future... Or not Future Fusion, two Miracle Fusion. You really only need two in this variant because this deck can win without Absolute Zero. And you can get three of them out with, um, with Future Fusion. That's two, so you really don't need three. And you're really going to have Future Fusion most of the time turn one. You don't want to have a lot of dead um, Miracle Fusions. Uh, later on, probably, like, I think it's April when we get Elemental Hero, uh, not the Shining, but Parallel World Fusion and all those. Actually, I think they may be coming out in Storm Ragnarok. But when we get Shining, Great Tornado, and Parallel World Fusion, this deck is going to be much better, and you're going to need three Miracle Fusions. I chose to run with No Plasma, One Lone Scapegoat, and I like it because a lot of decks now, I may take this deck to, a, to my regionals, and the, a lot of decks are really aggressive. There's not a lot of GBs to take advantage of that. And really, Black Wings, I mean, they're not as competitive right now. They're good and all, but still, a lot of people aren't really playing them, except people who are t maybe potentially testing for Sam's. But it's also really good. I like it with the effect failure, because I can go into Formula Synchron. So that's why it's really good. And they, they just put up a little wall, because this deck la lacks uh, quite a lot of defense. And, that, and then we run Staples, Reborn, Dark Coal, Cold Wave, and True Nade. Those are all staples for the traps. I really didn't need too many, but you can probably change the trap lineup if you want. I mean, solemn. Two warnings. You could definitely try three over one of the bottom lists, but it really doesn't matter. Because um, this deck, you you really are going to explode, and you just need a little bit of control. You don't need that much. Two bottom lists. Torrential, Mirror Force, and one Wing Blast. You could run two Wing Blast. One's enough, and I wanted to keep this deck on, uh, 40 cards or under. However, it had to end up being 41. If, you, if I could cut anything... It, pr it probably wouldn't be the scapegoat. It could be the effect failure. You'd end up siding that, maybe. But overall, it's pretty good. It's a pretty stable build. You really don't need anything else in the main deck. The extra deck is pretty simple. Um, I'm not actually going to show a side deck for you guys this time. Chimera Tech, E-Hero Guy. This is part of the side deck. The reason is we, we side mi Super Miracle Fusions, but you don't really need that until we get all the new stuff. Two, three zeros, you have to run this. Formula Synchron, because I can make it. Armory Arm, you can go Colossal TK pretty easily. The rest are pretty standard. Cataster, Bryo, Goyo, Black Rose, Dragon, 
uh, one Stardust, one Scrap Dragon. By the way, hit me up if any of you guys have an ultimate one, preferably first dead. I need one. Um, surprisingly, I don't have any extras. I only have like four ultras and a bunch of ultimates, but they're all either decked or loaned out. Colossal, and lastly, one Mistworm. So that was the deck. Tell me what you think of it. Comment below. Um, be sure to thumbs up. This was deck of the month, January 2K11, the first deck of the month. Again, it was absolute zero. Go back through it. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, it's a pretty standard build. You can pull off a lot of fun combos with it. Um, I really don't have much else to say about it, in all honesty. But again, um, comment below. Thumbs up. Please thumbs up. Like this video. Um, comment below. I may have, a, I may have another Q&A segment and a pro player video soon. So comment below for your questions or things you want to see, videos. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I may have my update video here, my recent one. Um, prior here, so click on this. I'll probably have it here. Um, shout outs. I really can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, Synchron Duelist. He's a cool dude. Eric, I've been talking to him a lot for a while. Bella, whatever. The TCG player. Um, the one PG16. He's a personal friend of mine. Tomas Maharis. I know Robbie shouted him out. He beat me to the punch, but I, I vote him. He's been on countless, like, a lot of my videos from, like, regionals and stuff and events. So yeah, pretty much it. Alex here, PC guys, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, and Team Sackard. Um, yeah, I gotta shout them out. He wanted a uh, shout out. So yeah, later.